Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'll be working on a Laguna Blue Monster High doll. This is one of the lower priced dolls that I made for a recent convention, and as at the time that I'm making this video, she's still available in my shop, and the link is in the description box below. This one is just kind of a simple doll that I'll be making a purple costume and giving her a purple wig. So I had a little bit of camera trouble, so I had to jump ahead with editing. So at this point, after giving her a few coats of Mr. Super Clear, I added the whites of the eyes to get the general shape, and then added the upper lid with black and the waterline with crimson red, and then started to define that a little bit. I started in with some shading with some pan pastels and shades of blue, and I gave her a little bit of a coat of pan pastel in red for her lips blended that out with a little bit of white. So here I'm just doing some contouring on the cheeks with the blue color that I probably mixed with a little bit of white and some colorless blender. I'm just blending that in for the jawline. Now I'm defining the lips a little bit with some with a crimson red Derwent watercolor pencil and blending that out a little bit more with some colorless blender. And doing some black at the corners of the mouth. And defining the upper lid. As you can see at this point I had already done some contouring shading on the upper eyelid. And now I'm shading in the nose, the nostrils. And many, many coats of white. Going in with a little bit of highlighting, but at this point I really need to give it another coat or two of Mr. Super Clear to get that tooth back so I can do more shading. Or the highlighting rather. It doesn't really pick up the highlighting until I give it another couple of coats of Mr. Super Clear and then it gets that tooth back and then I'm able to go in with the highlighting with the pencil, with the white pencil. Added a little bit of blush in the upper eyebrow area and on the cheeks and blending that out with some colorless blender. When I add the red on top of the blue, it turns a little bit of a purpley color, so I like to make sure that it's sealed before I start in with the blush. Because it automatically does that anyway, even when it's sealed and you're just putting red over blue, it's gonna be a little bit purple looking. So now going in with the eyes, I'm using different shades of blue and sort of a turquoise green. And I just blend that all out. I blend them together and then I blend them in with a little bit of white. And then I usually add a little yellow, orange, or golden kind of highlight to the bottom. And now I'm adding some purple in. So I'm giving it a bit of a rainbow effect to the eyes blue, I think I went blue on one side and purple on the other, but I used many different shades of each. I think I've repainted Laguna more than any other Monster High doll, and she's my very favorite to work with. I just like her big googly eyes. <laughs> So trying to line up the eyebrows, as you can see, I always do seem to do the right eyebrow a little bit further in than I need to, so I definitely use my Faber-Castell eraser to erase and, and make sure that they're the right size and shape. I try to match them the best I can, but it's so difficult. Blending them out a little bit with some red pan pastel just to give that fade in look. And I also define them a little bit with some purple uh, watercolor pencil. Going in with her pupil, I'm just doing black for the pupil on this one. And 
and adding some detail to the eyes. The longer I work on them and the more detail I add, the better they seem to look. I'm going to give them different dimension, different detail to give dimension and shape to them. I'm going in with a little bit of a line for the to make sure that it looks like she has an eyelid and adding some more highlights. And adding the bottom lashes. For the bottom lashes, I usually do my sort of signature look. I just do a long, short, long, short, and then I go back in with uh, the sort of a little triangle that connects it in the center of each lash that I drew. Occasionally, if the character calls for it, I'll do a different lash, but this is my favorite style. So I pulled out some of my pearlescent pan pastels, and I'm adding some pearling, pearly color to the cheeks. Just gives it a little bit of a shimmer. And then I'm adding some of the pearlescent blue and purple for some eyeshadowing. And here are the highlights. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great day. Bye.